most people speak about bugging out like a regular trip or traveling from point A to point B. In the best case scenario, this is the case and you move yourself and the people in your group to your bug out location days or weeks before disaster strikes. In reality, things don't always go how they should. We plan for worst case scenarios. Let me describe you one and how I would bug out in this situation. One evening, after weeks and months of social tensions, I hear gunshots outside and on the radio there are confusing news about some radical groups that have taken control of several police stations in our city. On the radio I hear news that the government officials have fled and the new guys want to restore law and order very soon, implement reforms and make everything better. Of course, I realize at least now it is time to bug out. No need to beat myself up for not bugging out before. It is what it is, but time for action. From my window, I can already see that people are looting the grocery store on the other side of the road. The salesman is just standing outside, doing nothing. Seems like the first couple of people take advantage of the rising anarchy. The salesman is still alive, which is good sign. Nobody shot him yet. People are still not using violence so openly. I go very quickly through my room and pick stuff for my bug out bag from the shelves I have prepared for it. I choose very basic stuff and put it in casual bag. I want to look like a guy who is in a hurry to get home from his job. I don't wear bright colors but also nothing too tactical, like all black, all dark blue. Just shades of grey, with a shirt with collar, and all over it a blue pullover. I'm typical worker, nothing special. I will use my car to get out of the city, because it is so early on after shit hit the fan. The opportunity that I will be stopped at some checkpoint is probably small, because people did not have enough time to realize they can use violence openly and did not get organized enough. As long as people think this is just a temporary situation, not all hell has broken loose. I also still see cars driving as well, so I take my chances. I do not lock the door of my apartment because there is a huge chance that door is going to be smashed in next days by looters and if I leave it open now I can use it again if I come back. Idea here is that it's fine to lose your TV, but if you come back in few days because things have calmed down and it is relatively safe, at least you have a door to close that would slow down potential attackers that still roam the city. The door is not an obstacle for looters anyway, so I make it look like my place was already looted without wasting too much time. I take some clothing and trash and spread it out in front of my door and leave. As I said, I choose to go lightweight because of few reasons. First thing to keep in mind, speed is the key because I expect much more violence soon. Second thing to keep in mind, my bug out location is 45 minutes in best case scenario if I can get there in my car and probably 3 days in worst case scenario if I have to walk and try to stay hidden. Third thing to keep in mind, I have 12 stashes with small helpful things hidden on my way to bug out location. I do not need compass, map, GPS or anything similar simply because I know the area for years and for years I made my plan how to get to my bug out location. That does not mean I do not have a small compass, piece of map in waterproof bag and GPS. It just means I do not have to depend on them. Things to consider. First thing to keep in mind. Avoid malls, police stations, gas stations, pharmacies. Second thing to keep in mind. Avoid checkpoints and be ready to abandon your car if you spot a checkpoint that looks too sketchy. Third thing to keep in mind. Prepare yourself mentally to use violence immediately when you need it. I start my car and decide on which of the three routes I planned for I should take. 
I take route B, because in other parts of the city some police stations are already taken, so the bad guys might head for the ones closer to route A and route C. Keep in mind, even if you pick a route to your bug out location, always be ready to leave your route if necessary or even go back in the same direction if you need to. After driving for 3 minutes, I turn around the corner and see a checkpoint down the road. I consider my choices. First thing to keep in mind, to go through the checkpoint and talk with the guys. Second thing to keep in mind, to avoid it and to leave my car now and go on foot around the checkpoint. Third thing to keep in mind, to use violence and break through. You have to consider a lot of options. For example, who are the guys on the checkpoint? What do they look like? Trained, not trained, like regular concerned citizens protecting their neighborhood, like a gang? Also consider how you look like, how good you are armed, how badly you need your car, and how far is your bug out location, for example. At the checkpoint I look at now, I can see four guys with AKs there. They look like the guys who also took over the local police stations. I'm already too close and they stopped me. I say I'm going home from my job. I have prepared some cash to bribe people in my pocket. Different amounts of cash in different pockets. They look at me and talk with each other and ask me to get out of my car. That's when I start to complain and tell them I need to hurry and get back to my wife and kid. After I told them that, I reach in one of my pockets and give them all the cash I have there and ask them if they can just help me to get back home quickly. They don't think it is enough and I pretend to look around the car and find another small note of money and few coins. I say that's all I have. They finally let me go. After the next turn I end up on a road that is full of parking cars and crowd has gathered further down the road looting a store. Now I have the choice to turn back and drive another way, but that would mean I have to pass the checkpoint I just came from again or simply leave my car and continue on foot. I don't want to test my luck with the guys at the checkpoint again and my bug out location is not that far away anymore, so I continue on foot. I walk through the city and avoid all interesting spots such as stores, malls, gas stations and banks, where people could fight about something, but it is impossible to avoid all people and situations. At one place I meet a group of folks who frantically try to enter one house and it is impossible to avoid them. They try to smash the reinforced door of the house. They shout and swear about local politicians and I realize it is an angry mob of people trying to loot the politician house. Some of them notice me, and before they ask me anything, I say, just take everything from this idiot, he stole from all of us before. It makes sense to blend in, and right now, I choose to agree with the opinion of a group to win a bit of sympathy and safe passage. I spend a minute or two with them and ask them about the situation in the neighborhood, but as soon as they smash the door and enter the building, I quickly move on and continue my way. I finally get to the outskirts of the city, with just a few houses here and there. My hidden stashes with equipment I might need are near me all the time as I continue on my route. But I did not get anything during the whole time bugging out, because speed is still the key. And so far I'm making good progress. I keep walking until I get too tired and have arrived in the hills closer to my bug out location. I find a quiet spot off my path and lean against a tree, tuck myself in the trash bag I took along as improvised tube tent and rest a few hours. I don't really sleep but rest enough to continue on my way. Tomorrow I will arrive at my bug out location. My friends and relatives should be there already, some of them living near me, others are going through situations like me now to get there. 
some might not succeed, but majority will make it. We have spoken about bugging out and planned for this. There is a small chance that my bug out location might be already occupied by unwanted guests, so I take some time and silently observe it before I get inside. I made it to my bug out location. This is just an example of situation you might encounter while bugging out. There are too many things that can happen to guarantee your safety, but when you learn about survival, you can learn to get the right mindset and make the right decisions when it matters. This is what this course is all about. Besides what you learn in the written part about bugging out, please remember. Speed is one of the most important factors when bugging out. You want to move away from areas of increased danger as fast as possible, so only take things that do not slow you down. If you have bug out location, don't take things to make bugging out more comfortable if they add additional weight and thereby slow you down. Forget about comfort. Sleeping bag for a night and having a stiff neck is not big deal if you can get to your bug out location much faster. Never put things first. Your life matters more. Don't make detours to collect valuable things or waste time to save stuff in your home when you realize you need to bug out. I saw many people dying because they cared about their stuff and did not realize how cheap life has become. Things can be replaced. Your life cannot.